disabled fly tire. And this one, I'm going to show you how to tie another tarpon fly, a baby tarpon fly. And this will be another one that is going with me to Florida. So on the hook, I have a C68 SNP DT and one knot. It's a mustad hook. So uh, let's get started. First, I have a single plume of purple marabou. And I'm only using one plume because I don't. I don't want this fly to be too big or too bulky. I want it kind of on the smaller side, be a little more slim. So we'll go ahead and tie that in right there. Take some wraps forward to really lock that feather down. And you can take it pull if it's not exactly how you want it, but the marabou will thin out in the water. And we're going to go ahead and cut off this extra marabou. stem out of here. Now we're just going to go ahead and smooth all this out. I'm just going to go and make sure that everything's laying how I want. And the reason I'm making these a little more on the small side is I've been doing some research and for tarpon in the winter you want something a little smaller. A little more slim. That's why I'm doing these on a one knot instead of bigger. Next, we're going to take a few strands of crystal flesh. I think I have four here. Lay it right on top. Pull this over. And wrap it down good and Bring our thread forward about right there. Actually, I'll come back just a tad to about right there. And I'm going to take a plume of black marabou. Try to grab it and 
pinch it down to the point that I want to tie in. You don't want this sticking up very far. About like that. Go ahead and cut the excess off. Once again, we'll smooth all this out. Nice tight wraps. And now we'll come up about probably one hook eye back. We're going to tie in a large bead chain eye. And again, if you haven't seen my video on my techniques, I use my whip finish tool. I take that point, I get into the bead chain, and I just hold it on like that. And I get some thread out, kind of get it to a spot that I want. Get some wraps on it. I've tried to pick them up with my hand, and they're just too small. So that's the way I found that works best. For lead eyes, I use a pair of forceps. Do the same thing, except I just grab it with the forceps and kind of hold it in place. get these on here nice and tight I'm going to take my thread to the front in front of the, the bead chain take just a drop of super glue set it right on top on the thread to make sure that those are secure and not going anywhere. I'm going to give that a couple about a minute to dry while I clip off some arctic fox, some arctic fox tail. And in this we're going to use black. And how I found it's easier for me because I can't use both hands or I can't use the scissors in one hand as I take it and I just kind of I pull it away from the hide so that it stands out when I lay it down and then I can get in there and I can cut that with my scissors using both hands. I have tied several of these flies today and that's what's been working best for me. two clumps about the same size and the super glue has been on here long enough that I'm just going to take a piece of paper towel So the hair doesn't stick to it. 
Now the hair I left the um, the under fur in because when we tie this in, we want this part to kind of fold up and make a little head. So bring our thread back over to about right there. Give that a couple of wraps and just take our hand. And, or, uh, what works for me? I can't put enough pressure with my finger as I try to take my bodkin and pull the fibers down on both sides. Just like that. Now we'll flip the fly over. Lighting is kind of horrible. See if I can change that a little bit. There, there we go. And again, I've said I've uh, said before, I'm filming on my phone until I can get a camera. So y'all just bear with me. So same thing on the bottom. Red. I'm gonna get that tied in about the same spot. Pull it, make sure it's tight. And same thing, just take our bot and pull the hair around. That way we get a nice even amount on both sides. So with the under fur here, we're going to take it and we're going to try to pull it back as we wrap, we're going to wrap right behind the bead chain. Let's see if I can get this pulled back. It's kind of tricky, so I usually get myself with the barb or the hook. You get a couple wraps it gets a little easier just take the fly don't let the fly work you take it move it around how you need so that you can see See, it makes it makes it kind of makes it kind of flare up a little bit. Gives us a nice little little head that's going to push some water. Try to get a couple more wraps around it, just like that. And now pull the hair back and I'll jump it my thread in front of the bead chain and I'm gonna start at the bottom go ahead and trim it try to pull it up some take our scissors about like that you can leave it a little longer I have some that are longer some that are shorter I'm just gonna try a variety of everything This is not my fly. I seen this fly from Backwater Vlog. He has a YouTube channel. So I just show you how I tie it with the hand function that I have. I don't claim these flies to be mine unless like my popping shrimp, something that I can come up with like that. 
So now we're ready to whip finish. Pull some thread out. And we'll go ahead and whip finish this. Take some thin UV, or you can use super glue, epoxy, whatever you use. I like the UV; it's a lot easier for me to for me to use. The bottom, if you take it and kind of push back on it, you'll get it out of the way enough to where you're not UVing the fibers. Looks like I got some UV in my the eye of the hook, so I'm gonna clean that out before I cure it. Because if not, then it makes it pain to get it afterwards. And now we're gonna go ahead and zap it. And the fly is done. As you see, even for me, it's a very fast fly. It took me 17 minutes. A fast hire, have this done in a few minutes. And like I said, I've never fished for tarpon before, so I'm just tying a variety of everything. And just gonna hope that I can find a spot that I can get to from my wheelchair and fish for baby tarpon. I will be in Destin, Florida. I know there's tarpon there. I'm not sure exactly where, I've never been there, but um, hopefully I can film some fish I catch on the fly rod if I have somebody there that can hold the camera for me, but um, I'm hoping that I can I can film, film some and I'll show you all that, but anyway, super, super fast, super easy baby tarpon fly, very slim, all this is going to slim down in the water, you have your flash little bit of weight but um until next time y'all have a good one any questions put them in the comments if you like the video smash that like button subscribe if you're, if you're new and any questions y'all have or comments put it put it in the comments and i will get back to you but, uh, have a good one I woke up, up, still drunk, drunk on